How are drugs of abuse detected, i.e. screened? Uh, these are, there are many ways to do this, but the first one is, uh, and the quick one is a urine drug sample, which is a uh, dipstick is used to detect for the main uh, drugs of abuse, things like cocaine, uh, opioids, marijuana, uh, LSD, and amphetamines. Uh, so these is a quick way of telling. It can only look back, depends on the drug, but it can look back maybe for the last week. Uh, with marijuana, that stays in the system a lot longer, more like 30 days. Uh, so this is a quick peek to see if somebody's been using recently. Other drug screening tests include uh, hair samples, which can go back 30 to 90 days. Uh, fingernail samples, which again can go back uh, 30 to 90 days. And the final test, which is the um, gold standard, is a gas chromatography. And this is uh, an in-depth tox screen. So this is a different test altogether. It's called a urine or blood tox screen. It's usually a blood sample, uh, sometimes a urine sample as well. And many more drugs are used in this panel to search. So this is generally used in a hospital in the case of a poisoning and it's uncertain. So to summarize, to test for drugs, the most commonly used screening tool is a urine drug screen, which detects things up to the last week or so. Um, to, to detect longer use, uh, three to six months, would be uh, hair sampling or fingernail testing. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call. Mm -hmm.